Hi guys, Glader here, and today I want to talk about something that I put together last night. Unity 3D is coming out with a next generation renderer, which will be officially released in 2020. I wanted to get some experience with that and to see sort of, you know, what would it look like if I tried to make something PSO themed with that. So I took the old floor scene and tried my best to upgrade it to the new renderer, which obviously some stuff is not working. Some stuff looks worse, but I think overall it does look pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a look. I won't bore you guys with the technical details, but you can see that things are kind of pretty. You know, some people might not like the new look, but I'm enjoying the new rendering features and I'm only just scratched the surface with them. There's a lot of potential. This is uh, baked lighting, so we've got this physically correct shadowing and uh, global illumination, which is great. But what does it look like if we were to do the real-time lighting? Well. We go ahead and clear that. There we go. It looks similar. There's a lot more ambient. Probably bake these reflections. There we go. That looks a bit more correct now. And uh, one thing we have now is actually real-time volumetric lights in Unity in this new uh, renderer, which is pretty sweet. Not something that was possible before. And um, we also have a subsurface scattering. You can see the light coming through the actual leaves, and it's changing the color of these leaves. They look different if you're looking towards the sun, which is up there. It's kind of difficult to do at this angle, but you can see that... Uh, the... Yeah, so I won't bore you guys with that. This is basically what it looks like, which is pretty sweet. And... Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like without these trees, which these trees have not aged well over the years, which it has been years. Um, it, I think it actually looks better without the trees. That's how bad the trees look. Here are some various still images throughout the process and showing different lighting modes. That's it for the video today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.